Yo, what's up, everyone? Legend here with another episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Yeah, so, um, I think we're in the courtroom, apparently. October 18th, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Blah, 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 blah. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Prowers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Ridgeworth, you may begin your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, they defended Mr. Will Prowers killed the fellow actor Jack Hammers at Studio One and Loop Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to commit this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will point out to this fact. Hmm, I see. Okay, right now I'm calling this trial is going to be postponed or, or due to lack of evidence or something like that. Very right, well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stands. Ugh, Gumshoe, he gets on my nerves. Detectives, if you briefly describe, describe this case to the court. No, sir, I'll explain with Guy Matthew. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios, who. And the security lady. Uh, what? Security lady that works at the studios. Oh, was here at 1 o'clock p.m. on that day. Didn't see the was. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here is Studio One. Here is the scene of the murder when the body was found. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there are only three people here. The victim, Jeff Hamill. The defendant, Will Prowers. And the young woman, the production assistant. <laughs> all the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jeff Hamill, was right in the studio I want. Right after that, at 1 o'clock p.m., the security lady went to the guard station. This is really difficult now. <laughs> now jump behind late on that day to 5 o'clock p.m. The production staff did the studio went to perform the rehearsal. It was to say the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of the death was 2 o'clock p.m. The Samurai Spear was found large in the victim's chest with the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. I'd really like to hear that again. Good job, Gumshoe. Let me show this the whole thing again. No. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. Oh, medieval. <laughs> Summer spear added to the court record. Okay. It's your honor. This case is quite simple. If you ask one question, and that question is. Was it the security lady at the guard station C? Understood! Let's call the security officer to the stand. Witness. <laughs> Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> oh my goodness, no! My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered! Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need to be reading me embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh, my. No, thank you. Your, n your name, please. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Seems Edward has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. When do you look back, dearie? So just call me Grandma. Something else. What do they do? That was there. They told me to put me to the best of my name. Can you believe it? There was this one boy the chairman of the chess club. He called me. Go back and I just cried because I was going to more. Objection. Objection! I object to doing this talk to this. Objection sustained! You want to still refrain from rambling on the stand? I was just getting to the good part, Harry. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, I was! And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, Harry! You may begin your testimony. <laughs> sure. 
Sure is one Hamachi of an old bag. Witness testimony, witness account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I will had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock. Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by at 2 o'clock p.m. It was Bowers, that man right there was in the studio. Man, my voice is going to be gone by the end of this. You saw the defendant then. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. I don't really have much commentary time in this, do I? Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination witness account. Okay, mate. It's the guard station, 1 o'clock p.m. Hold it! So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go into the studio, anyone who wanted to go into the studio? Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need to employ a car key to get in. Right, the car key that I have. So what she's saying is that no one was supposed to be there could get in there. It wasn't supposed to be there. Was that in the studios when you arrived at the security station? Hmm, let's just press on everything. A run through? They're working out a seat between these two same language master. I don't want to do the voice anymore. Think of the face of your eye when you're in practice. Rush was supposed to start at 5 p.m. 5 o'clock. So, how would I want to do one? Travis was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid back hero. This was 1 3 in the morning. Why did you only get some in the afternoon? <laughs> I have off to Martin's around that morning. Press. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor hammers and prowers, observing, you know. Uh, observing? Are you supposed to be at the guard station? Well, first snapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I was watching hammers right there, so anyone. Oh, I never missed one in all my years. <laughs> Wow, I just did sell Samurai impression for Sam around there too. Quit being a spirit. You can quit being a spirit ma medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. I like that. Have I done this already? Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor Hammer? No. I already gone to the studio before I go back to the guard station. Tell us what's happening next. Hold it. So you were watching there the whole time, no breaks, not even a second? Uh, of course. I'm professional, you know? Were you criticizing how I do my job with first snapper? No, no, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. How come I just get any donuts at the same time with first snapper snapper? What? Snipper whapper. <laughs> Losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So this opportunity that was, was very well. What did you see? Happened to the person with the card key. Hmm. Nope, nothing. I just wanted to see if she would freak out or something. Oh, 
let's see. know that. Oh, 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 I have my ways. I wish I had a detective told me I found some not it's in the talk to talk. You asked me the detective isn't cut out for a job. Poor detective gumshoe getting chewed out by a security guard. My stupid scanning thing. Okay, sorry. It was just a computer scanning thing. Uh. Two o'clock, you're sure. Sure, Spit? Well, who's the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You must drain something. Heh. <laughs> okay, just get me in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. This Prowler's the man right there. He's heading towards the studio. Hello? Oh, yeah, this is it. Uh, timeout. Security thing. Nah, that's cool. You've been saying that since yesterday you saw Mr. Powers, or correct? You're really talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright! Let me see that photo! What is this, exactly? Not other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Mrs. Oldbag. Is this... The Mr. Prowers you saw? Of course, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? You don't come in and see this Prowers, right? Um, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> cringing face. I, I know that. I was born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing that miss... er... witness? He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. Well, if you don't prove the person who photo Mr. Will Prowers, do you? Hmm, <laughs> nosy old man. Of course I have proof! What? Huh? Even Andrew with a surprise? The production would like to ask the old... the witness. Please make no nosy information in your possession ahead of time. As if everyone be so nosy, you should be ashamed, all of you. This is not how real court works. The computer that the detective told me this isn't any good. This isn't good as evidence at all. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old woman bag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. So let's hear about your proof then. I never say anything mean, mind you. The morning. During the run through the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props and it was a big mess. <sniffs> Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See it clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers happy. <sniffs> so he had to sprain his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I love being in court more than I do looking for evidence. Gonna be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. And the photo. Psh. Um. What for snapper? I haven't said anything yet. Have you not enough pointing fingers anyone behind their backs? I think I've said this on straight and narrow. The up and up. Yesterday I was whining about each other pointing and all that he cried. Mr. Wright, please, for our sakes, try to not, not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. I love my face there, or whatever. Who is present to the run through? Well, let's see. There's Powers, and he's a Samurai, the World Hammer, the Evil Magistrate, and me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing, just observing. What about the assistant? She was off moving drop backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. Trip and fall. 
Yes, I think he's supposed to see a samurai with a laugh. His power sprained his ankle. I'll make it better for him, of course. <laughs> you will make it better? I guess they were hurt. Oh my. Let's skip over that part, shall we? Where's the assistant then? Or oh, she was cleaning up at shops, I think. She know about power was his ankle. Mm. Can we continue to your testimony? He broke a prop. Sure he did, his own samurai spear. Samurai spear, the murder weapon. Lucky lies there in my duct tape to fix it. It strikes me a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Powers his ankle sprain, badly sprained. That's why they couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room after lunch. Best the now. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've posed enough. Haven't we, owner? Well, maybe we'll see more next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Make sure you share this video on Google Plus. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good bye.